The president is preying on the emotions of fear, envy, and resentment. We know the Democrats' playbook. It's, it's class warfare, shake down right. the rich, and it's been their playbook for the last 40 years. Do you think Republicans are doing uh, a successful job making the moral case for capitalism? Not enough. Um, that's why I gave the speech at the Heritage Foundation about a month ago, because I was really worried we weren't stepping up to the case. We weren't stepping to take the moral high ground on this issue. We should not shy away from class warfare. We should take this head on, which is the president is preying on the emotions of fear, envy, and resentment, and he's speaking to people in America as if they're fixed in some class. That's the European model. That's the model our ancestors left to come create an opportunity society, equality of opportunity, equality of equal protection of the law, not equality of outcome. Government's role is not to equalize the results of our lives. And we should take that on in a moral way and defend the system of upward mobility, of income mobility, of opportunity, not of this huge cradle of the grave, you know, basic kind of society where the government's role through corny capitalism, through big governmentism, is how to equalize the results of our lives. And so we have not done enough to take the moral high ground on that issue. You your latest proposal, which is based on the Medicare reforms of premium support that was in the path to prosperity, um, the latest proposal is with uh, Senator Ron uh, right. Wyden. And literally, almost an hour after this hits the media, uh, the White House responds, and I'm going to read you their quote. It says, the Wyden-Ryan scheme could over time cause the traditional Medicare program to wither on the vine because it would raise premiums, forcing many seniors to leave traditional Medicare and join private plans and it would shift costs from the government to seniors. At the end of the day, this plan would end Medicare as we know it for millions of seniors. Your response? Totally predictable. I'm sure they didn't even read it before they made the <laughs> comment. Um, but it's a premium support system. What, we, what, what we've proven here by having a Democrat support a premium support system is that there's a consensus. You know, Before it was Alice Rivlin and, and, and non-elected Democrats, Erskine Bowles, people like that who are saying, we should go to a, a premium support kind of a system. Now we have an elected Democrat showing that there's a mainstream con consensus on how best to reform Medicare versus the Obama single payer, cradle the grave, you know, iPad price control rationing program. So what that statement tells me is they are more than happy to set up this fight, which is they believe that the government should take over this entire space, our healthcare sector, and manage it from Washington we believe we should run the money through the individual and we should have a patient-centered system. And what we're proving with, with our plan is that's more mainstream. That is where most of the country is. And I would argue that president's on the outside looking in. So that's the left. And they clearly are doubling, doubling down on their ideology. They're clearly doubling down on their policies. And to be honest with you, that's a, that's a, that's a, I love that. That's a contrast that I am more than happy to go into the election with so we can at least do the American people a service by giving them a choice. And that's what I, I so to me, it's, 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 it's just another opportunity to give the Americans a choice in two future.